Mortuaries across Southern California are struggling to keep up with the increase in deaths. As News 8's Shannon Handy explains, it's even led to some families having to be turned away. Not only are hospitals across San Diego County running out of space, but funeral homes are as well. The director of the California Funeral Directors Association tells me he's never seen anything like this. We thought we had it handled in California, and now it's worse than anyone envisioned. Bob Ackerman, executive director of the state's Funeral Directors Association, says every day he's on the phone with mortuaries across the state, all reporting the same problem. I've talked to funeral homes who take an assessment every night. How many spaces do we have left? How many more uh, families can we take in tomorrow? Some funeral homes are faced with turning people away. They just simply don't have the storage capacity. More than 350,000 people in the U.S. have died from COVID-19. In California, we're nearing 30,000 deaths, with 1,600 in San Diego County alone. Not only are funeral homes running out of space, but being able to even plan a funeral has been put on hold as well. The physicians are overwhelmed. Death certificates have to be attested to and authorized before suspicion can occur. So that's taking longer. Cremations are also being impacted, with many taking twice as long. Some of those crematories are operating seven days a week now, uh, and even that is causing backlogs where a cremation may have occurred within a week. Now it's taking two weeks. During a surge last summer, Ackerman says funeral homes as well as coroner's offices prepared by creating more space, but that hasn't been enough to keep up with the most recent numbers. The California Office of Emergency Services is working to figure out solutions while some families continue to grieve as they wait. It's really been a difficult period. I don't know where we're evolving to, but it's a bad place. I checked with the San Diego coroner's office. They do have enough space, but have resources on standby just in case. Meanwhile, Ackerman says another issue is getting employees within the mortuary sector vaccinated. While they are in tier one, he says at this point, there aren't enough vaccines to go around.